Howdy to sports fans and Leo Claudia with Malice to a Nun. We're here in the lobby of the Stover's Inn in Cincinnati, Ohio today, and it's indeed a pleasure to have as our guest one of the greatest right-handed pitchers the game has ever known. I'd like to welcome to our show at this time, Bob Feller. Welcome, Bob. Well, I'd like to be with you, Leo, and see you again. I see you at all the All-Star Game, the World Series, and uh, Cooper's down, and it's really good to join you here in Cincinnati. Bobby, in the days, uh, your heydays as a pitcher, you had tremendous speed. You blinded many a batter. Now, how uh, much did you depend on your speed uh, in comparison with the number of curves you may have thrown? Well, the first part of my career, of course, I depended mostly on my fastball. I could throw it by most of the hitters. There's always some you can't throw it by. You have to go to other pitches. I always had a good curveball, and later I developed a slider and a sinker, and a change up, and uh, as I got past the age of 30, when you lose a little on your fastball, and you got it, and your control becomes better, and you know the hitters better, and uh, so it kind of all evens up. You have to make a transition from a thrower to a pitcher when you get in late 20s, early 30s, and which some fellows can do and some can't do. But it does take uh, it's a different type of pitching, and try to make him miss the pitches. You try to make them hit it, but hit the pitch you want. But and then it con- your control becomes a great factor, and uh, this is where the whole story is uh, in, in any ball game. Speed and control is all you really need in pitching, but the two don't go together. Bobby, how many no-hitters did you pitch? I pitched three no-hitters, and I had uh, 12 one-hitters. Of course, I did miss four years during the war. I could have probably set a few more records and won a few more ball games, gotten a few more strikeouts, but I certainly have no regrets, and uh, I'm sure all the major league ball players or minor leaguers is all the servicemen have no regrets of the time they spent in the service because we are a free nation and uh, sports is a great part of our society, which uh, is the way it should be. Bobby, uh, Bobby Doerr was a nemesis of yours in one way or another, wherein he spoiled three or four of your no-hitters. Uh, Bobby uh, got uh, the only hits in two of my no-hitters that I can relate. Like one was a broken bat flubbed up over in Boston. The next one was a line drive uh, into left center field over in Cleveland. Now, he may have broken up uh, others I don't remember, but... Uh, Bobby was a great ball player, a great uh, second baseman and a fire fine hitter and a good friend of mine and uh, was a great Red Sox uh, uh, ball player and led him to a lot of exciting ball games and uh, into a pennant in 1946. Bobby, are you in favor of a youngster, let's say a little league age or Babe Ruth league age, uh, at throwing curves? Well, you can't stop them. The main thing is to tell them which is the most important thing in pitching, and that's get the ball over the plate and throw strikes, have control, have work on control by throwing to a spot all the time when they practice. Uh, keep it wear a warm shirt over their elbow, down underneath their jersey, not just go out there with a little jersey on. A little perspiration, a little uncomfortableness by being wet and sweaty never hurt anybody's arm. It might make you feel a little tacky, but then uh, cover up your arm with a jacket. And they don't take good enough care of their arms by keeping warm enough throw them too many early in the spring of the year it takes a, a little uh, knowledge and a little uh, uh, good coaching uh, to keep them from uh, hurting their arm by throwing a curve but you can't stop them because it youth use uh, curveball is so important and you have a great advantage in youth baseball with a curveball, which you don't have in professional ball. Bobby, it's been a pleasure talking to you here today, and I want to take this occasion to wish you and all of your enterprises worlds of good luck and success for many years to come. My pleasure, Leo. Thank you, Bob. This was an interview with Bob Feller, the Cleveland okay. Mound great of a few years back, and this brings us to the end of With Malice Stewart. And for today, until tomorrow at this same time, from Stufers Inn in Cincinnati, Ohio, Leo Claudia, good day. Brought to you by Poster Fix. At Poster Fix, we bring your vintage posters back to life. To learn more about Leo Cloutier's sports world, visit leocloutier.com.